Hello everyone, this is Sean and welcome back to Sherlock Holmes Devil's Auto. We can hear some snoring in this in this room over here, so somebody's getting some sleep. Anyways, let's go ahead and look at William Hamilton. Okay, 1880 is what we want to look at right here. This is the easiest one we had so far. William Hamilton was Alice's father. He was arrested by Sherlock Holmes and later died in 1880. William Hamilton's death. A failed escape from Newgate Prison. Four prisoners crawled through a narrow drainage pipe to escape from Newgate Prison in London. It was a well-planned daylight operation, but ultimately unsuccessful thanks to the fast reaction of our police force. Two of the prisoners were killed. The remaining men were sent back to prison. One of the dead prisoners was the prior criminal lord of London, uh, William Hamilton. As it already, as is already known, William Hamilton was arrested in seven, in 1875 during a Scotland Yard operation under charge of Inspector Lestrade. During that investigation, a major role was played by the, the consulting detective Sherlock Holmes. After the arrest, and due to his wife being deceased, Hamilton's young daughter was sent to live with her aunt. Okay, so there we go. We now know who William Hamilton is. Her, yep. We now know who her father is. So there's that. Okay then. Well, we've got that done. Still can't look at these. I'm mildly worried that that affected the game in some way. Let's just. See. I want to see what this here. This is a good opportunity to investigate the Green Dragon Tavern alone. Sweet. Okay. That's good. We really don't need him tagging along even more. Like, seriously, we need to fix this, I think. My, I see you and Kate the best friends already. Okay, well, let's go get our disguise in here, said, shall we? So, we want to disguise herself as a bandit, from what the thing said. So... Sailor outfit, morning gown. I don't think that's all. Test of attire, doctor outfit, bandit outfit. Well, oh right, I could have just switched from there. I didn't have to step over. Oh well. Okay, weak face disguise. In other words, I don't have a facial disguise. Let's go with facial hair. Um, yes, that's. No, I think that might be the one. Let's go with the big. Let's go with the big bushy beard. Eh, glasses, and we want to change the hair too. I know this the face disguise, but uh, what is this one exactly? Let's go with the bowler cap. There we go. Yep, there. That's my disguise. Totally a bandit, right? A bandit with a war cap. <sighs> Give me a second. Phone calls always are the most inconvenient of times. And it was just a toll free number, so we don't honestly care who that was. Okay, so we don't want to go to the Green Tavern, Dragon Tavern. Can I go there directly through the map? Can I? I will read the map again. Uh, yes, I can. Let's do that because I really don't feel like going walking all the way over to some point for the uh, guy and going there. I guess only really the attire matters for that, and then you just have to disguise your face because you can't be seen as Sherlock Holmes naturally. I have to be careful. Well, yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see if... Come on, Bobby, push back! Hey, you, shut up! Well done, Bobby. Bobby. It seems like I, got, I chose the right hat. A couple of people... A couple of people here had the same hat. I just put five pence on you. Hey, you, shut up! Well done, Bobby! Can I play cards? Doesn't look like it. 
Okay, this is the green dragon. Uh, this is a dock area. Sure. Well, let's go this way, I think. We gotta go up. This is a barber shop. No, we definitely want to go this way. I just didn't expect this to open up to a dock and not see a door, like, right on the other side or something. Uh, I guess it's up here, maybe? It seems to be the way to go. There's a guy smoking. Yep. Seems to be it. Okay. Okay, so we want to go. Can talk to the guy here. No, he's just gonna tell me I want a beer. Okay. Well, there should be someone to eavesdrop from here, right? I forgot how to play the eavesdrop game. Right. It's this. You just want to keep it in the center. Okay. Perhaps I should try it. Let's celebrate. There's no one to eavesdrop on. Okay. There's no one to eavesdrop on. Wanna be a best. Oh, okay. I I guess we're not. Sure thing, sir. I drink to forget that I drink. <laughs> I'm assuming this one right here, considering it's literally right... Oh, okay. I guess I can use T to just cancel it at any time. Good to know! I was wondering why it should need the T sign. Okay. I'm going to assume that I can eavesdrop those guys. Really, I'm just going to stand here? What am I eavesdropping then? Am I eavesdropping them again? This was not... Oh, hello, sir. Okay, where else? I can't eavesdrop... Oh. Okay. This makes sense. Let's go with this guy. Wow, the music's loud right here. And now it's getting quieter. And now I can't hear it. Found him. So we need to get one of those cards so we can get back there. Okay. So they have a past on getting inside. That's good to know. I'm assuming. No. There's no one to eavesdrop, though. We don't have a pass. Unless. What did we get from the. Uh, I doubt it's that. It didn't look like that. Okay. Is there any way of checking to see if we have a pass? Okay. There's no one for me to pickpocket. I don't, I don't see anything else. Maybe I can... Okay, I can sit here. I guess I can probably eavesdrop on these two. Yep. Yep. The hair lip. Ooh.
So that guy is the guy who was, who was trying to attack me. Oh, so that's why there's that other chair. No one finds it suspicious that I'm... Okay. No one's finding it suspicious at all for me to just go from... Okay. Let's celebrate. <laughs> can I even? I can talk to him and keep asking for a beer. I need a refill. Okay. Okay. So. Looking at him will tell me to get lost, but... Okay, that's not really doing me anything. That's also why it's green. Is there any... We don't have green here. The only... And that's his table. Can't hear anything from there. Can't hear anything from here. Oh! Okay. And I'm assuming that I can't just walk in here, so... Yeah. So I need... I don't see anything, though. Do I have to walk out here, maybe? Oh, hello. There we go. This is the most healthy one. I'm going outside for a cigarette. Okay, hello. Yeah, let's try to do that. I don't know how you pickpocket in this. Okay, so... Okay, so you do that, okay. I get it now, okay. It's gonna put me there. And then I would need to keep this here and press a button. Until I get that. Okay. Take the pass. And then... I have to get this back in here and then Q to get it back into his pocket. Okay. Uh, I passed to the gambling room. Nice. Okay, so I guess we're going to go to the gambling room, see what happens there. Not sure how this exactly works, but... Cool. You didn't really show him the pass, he's just like, you can get in. I saw you steal the pass, you have the pass now. Go for it. Oh, hello. Do we know you? Somehow. Do we know you somehow? Ah, that's how. Okay. We got clues. We do have clues. Homemade bomb. Reporters? Didn't think so. Disguise? Didn't think so. Visit? Didn't think so. Tavern? Didn't think so. Okay. Uh, deselect. Tavern with reporters. With visit? With disguise? Didn't think so. Reporters with disguise? Uh, okay. I honestly didn't think that one would work. Uh, oh, come on, phone now. Not now. Okay. Uh, only with Orson. Only with oh, yeah, it's the trying to blame Orson on things. He was probably just trying to help. I don't know yet. 
Since the fighting factor, the reporters didn't notice that he was not Sherlock Holmes. Okay. I don't know yet. I don't want to make any assumptions on those things yet. Visit a home of what I want to go visit. Okay, can't use visit a tavern. Can't do tavern with anything. Like everything right now is blame Orson. He's clearly a bad person. Blame him. For all we know, though, right at this point, he could just be an idiot. This is a good place to actually eavesdrop. Nothing looking at actually anything. Is there any reason at all to be up here? I don't see a reason to even be in this area. It's cool you can be here though. Okay. Well, let's see here. I won't do assume I can't go in there. Talk to this guy. Okay. Let's go to the gambling room. Cool. Here we are in the gambling room. Okay. Can't. Oh, they're playing dominoes. Uh, none of the. We've got one person here sitting by himself. That's not suspicious at all. We've got this guy. Hey, what do you think you're doing? That's private. Gamble or get out. Okay, so now we've got. I have to get across to the other side. Perhaps from there I can reach the guarded area. We have to create a diversion. Okay. Make a diversion to get outside. Well, there's a guy right here. Let's see here. Alright. Yes, I see the knife. Okay. Oh, I see. Small mirror, concealed button, extra cards. A button for a mechanism. He uses the extra cards to cheat. Okay. This is a holder that deals extra cards. The rope leads from one sleeve to the other. Rope's cut will release the hidden cards and expose his trick. That's what I'll need to do for a diversion, then I can get out. Ah, it's my lucky day. Forward it, Snappy. Creep faster. Luck is on my side. Okay, cut rope. So I will need to divert attention, take knife, and then cut rope. Okay. Activate. 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 Watch sequence. Okay. So that wouldn't help. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't start the. I didn't have fight starts. Uh, let's add fight starts. No, no. No, no, deactivate, 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 I want, I want, do this, do this, do this, do this, guard moves, okay, I, I had that, ah, oh, crap, I did it again, okay, this is clearly what I need to do, again, no one questions this. No one questions this at all. There. Divert attention, grab row, uh, that, cut that. The fight starts out, the guard leaves, I can go through the door. Okay. Nice one, Holmes. Okay. D 
doesn't even notice that you walked by him. Ace of spades. Okay. Press to continue. Okay. And all the while we're doing this, we're hearing a fight breaking out in the background. Uh, because of that one cheater that we found, we managed to get through here. Of course, there was a cheater, though, in that shady bar. Oh, good. Start messing up right at the end there. Right when I got across, I messed. I started messing up. Okay, so let's go down here. This is probably where the guarded area is. Oh, it's nice over here. I like the water. Okay, we're gonna want to try and get to a spot where we can end it soon, I think. Because I think I got a few I don't remember how much mints I got in the last one. Before that phone call. Okay. Oh, hello. What do you do? Oh, we move... We can move cranes. I don't know why. But we can move cranes. Good to know. I'm just going to escape from there for now. This might be a good place to end as long as it, you know, keeps me here. Okay, that... I don't know if that's what I wanted, but that might be what I want. I don't know. I just kind of started moving grains for some reason. Okay. Alright, so I guess I'll do this sequence. And then get probably inside that room. Hopefully that will be a good place to... Okay. Please be the same button. Nope. That's a little annoying, the button. Uh, Q. Q. Okay. We got this one, now we swing on this one. I just figured, put them in a straight line and we can probably swing across. And it worked! So, yay. Okay, E. I didn't get in time. Uh, Q. Definitely got that one in time. When it goes first person, it kind of looks awkward. Okay, this is probably a good, kind of loud place to end it. Do I get a save thing? Okay. Well. Okay, well, there's got to be more to it than that, because... Oh, duh. There's a gap. Gap. Hidden compartment. That is clever. I want this. Hey, the hammer! Uh, here is the accounting for October. Back of cards, uh, 75 times ones, uh, and some amount of euros. Poker, uh, lost poker, uh, win poker, wow, nice amounts of wins. Lost in dominoes, win in dominoes, what's the reason that gain total is that. Okay. And we'll take this interesting little key as well. I like this. This is cool looking. No, wait. We're just going to look at it. We're not going to take it. Okay, and then in that case, let's see if I can't find... Okay, there we go. So we are taking it. Okay. So we got... So we want to search the archives. The police raid in, 1980, in 1892 was connected to the jackhammer coal. Uh, the man with the hair lip came to the Green Dragon Tavern to speak to Jack Cole, the boss. 
and a strange key. Now we also got some more evidence. Visits with. Oh wow, that actually worked. There's only one option over here, so we'll click that. The man the hair with the hair lip came to tavern to meet Jack Cole the following night in Timothy Holmes' life. Is there any more clo clothes? Clues? No. I mean, I could probably, if I go in here and just see. Okay, let's just assume for now it was coincidence. And he's a fine actor. Let's just see that. So nothing's colliding right here. And doesn't but doesn't give me anything by doing that. Let's just be let's be nice for now because we don't know anything about it. Okay, so in here, got are these all aces of spades? They are all aces of spades, or they're stacked. The man from the nope. Oh, okay. So, they're lying, cheating people, go figure. Okay. Oh, here we go. Cupboard. Crack. A crack. There might be something behind the cupboard. Hello, scratches. Fake. And here's where the key goes. Before I go any further, let me just see where this leads. Okay, that's the way out. That's a horrible idea. And I have an, I already have every idea that... Okay. That uh, Sherlock is going to say, I shouldn't go out yet. Okay. That doesn't mean we can't find clues here. Cool. What's in this? It's the suitcase belonging to that fellow with the hair lip. Okay. Okay, I for a second there I thought it would be. No doubt these things were stolen. And Ooh, picture. There's something on the back but first. Man. Most likely with his family. Okay, and after moving into the home. After moving into our new home. Thank you, Holmes. There's another paper in here though. Kettlebell 2S, clock 2S, book 1S. So, okay. This fellow pawned his belongings. Must be in great need of money. Butler's pawn shop in Lambert Street. He apparently lives near this pawn shop. Okay. So that's good evidence there. Is it on fire? Oh no, the fake homes. Okay, that's where I'm gonna end it. Oh, if I have to come back, I'll have to come back, but I'm not gonna try and do that because that's gonna take too much time. So. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I'll continue this at a lovely little place and save Olsen next time. See you then.